morning with today's checklist as we kick off Men's Health Awareness Month this November. Yeah, according to the CDC, on average, men die five years earlier than women, but for reasons, reasons that are mostly preventable. Hmm. So what are the signs that guys should be looking out for when it comes to prioritizing their health? Here to help walk us through it is board-certified colorectal and general surgeon, Dr. Cedric McFadden. Dr. McFadden, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's get started off. Uh, uh, yeah, Cleveland Clinic purchased, uh, published a survey. 55% of men don't get regular health screenings, which is a problem in and of itself. How do we get guys more proactive? Well, I think we start with identifying the root of the problem, right? Is it fear? Is it finances to see the doctor? Can you get time off from work? Or do you have the sense of invincibility that none of these problems will happen to mm -hmm. you or that you're not even aware of them? There could be a lack of a communication with the doctors, but ultimately we have to identify the root of the problem. If it's fear, let's speak to the fear mm -hmm. so that we can get men more interactive. With okay, so let's get started. Excessive fatigue. We're talking about what are some of the problems there? So we're not talking about just sort of being tired at the end of the day. We're right. talking about this dropping asleep at the red light, right? That can interfere with your safety. Uh, and we often think about sleep apnea. Now, right. one of the big associations with sleep apnea is being overweight. And we know that two out of three men are nearly overweight. And that can increase your risk of having problems with high blood pressure, diabetes, and then be, being able to fight infections. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, when you're gaining weight around the waist, it's not just staying there. It's also seen in the upper respiratory system that can interfere with how you move air at night, mm -hmm. which the next day can cause you to be trying to catch up and get sleep wherever you can get it. And then leading to diabetes? Correct. So there's an association between sleep apnea and high blood pressure and diabetes, and then that's all you know intertwined with your overall health. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. Dr. McFadden, when you talk about weight and the issues it can have, unintentional weight loss, though, can also be a red flag. It can be. And most of us would think, you know, five or 10 pounds, I don't mind losing, right? Mm -hmm. But when you find that you're losing 20 pounds, 30 pounds, you're not mm. even trying to lose that weight, that could signal one of the big concerns is cancer. Mm. Think, you know, lung cancer, mm. cancers of the GI tract, the pancreas, the colon, and the rectum. The other is dementia. There can be a cognitive decline where people just have this neglect for eating, oh. not even being aware of it. Mm. Diabetes is another one that comes up in this list as well, where your body normally tries to use glucose, sugar, mm -hmm. to metabolize, get energy. Well, the cells can't capture that glucose, and therefore the body has to use something else. What does oh. it use? It uses your muscles and your fat which causes you to lose weight when you're not expecting it. And finally, celiac disease, which is like autoimmune mm -hmm. related to gluten, where you're not absorbing the nutrients mm -hmm. that you need to absorb through your small okay. intestine. So it might seem good, but don't trust it. It's don't interesting right. you're talking about both of these things, and I picture coming over here. I picture people who are men, a lot of times father figures. These things are happening, and they don't want to talk about it. Absolutely. And so they're handling it in silence because they're trying to hold down everything else. And, you know, this says, you know, bladder and bowel habits. When things happen in the bathroom, a another place where men just don't talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing. Yeah. For some, and they just don't want to perhaps face what it could be signaling. So what could it be signaling? Well, so diabetes, again, you see a common thread yeah. here, right? Diabetes uh, can lead to increased urination. Why? Because you have so much blood sugar that your body's trying to get rid of it. So it flushes it out through the kidneys, causing you to use the bathroom more mm -hmm. frequently. Dehydration, you can see this that the urine is actually really dark. So this is your yearly public service announcements to yeah. look into the toilet. Absolutely. The prostate can also lead to increased urination. And then colorectal cancer, there can be changes in, you know, the shape, size, the consistency, even the color of the stool. So things that you don't want to ignore so you can get to it sooner, to get to, treatment. We have to deal with it, don't yes. we? Dr. Yeah. McFadden, let's, let's talk about irritability because you maintain that increased irritability could also be a sign that something's wrong physically. Yes, it's not just being upset or stressed after a kind of an event. It's What's underlying it? Is it related to depression? We know that in men, depression may not look the same. It may not be a tear. It may not be sadness. It may be more just sadness or maybe frustration yeah. or outburst. And so that anger can be translated in depression. Substance abuse also comes, and this is where family members may see this in their family, in their men in their life, and they say, well, what else is going on here? Anxiety and low test testosterone can also be related to increased irritability, which again, we need to identify because in many these cases, we can get help if we can identify it. Great tip. So yes. important. Yeah. Great. And, and the people around the men in their lives Correct. need to really pay attention. Absolutely. They see the signs, we feel the symptoms. Mm. All right, Dr. Oh, McFadden, thanks so much. Really appreciate